Let's go ahead and do this problem. Represent each of the following combinations of units in the correct SI form. So for part A, we have kilonewtons per microsecond. So we want to convert that to seconds. For every second, there are 10 to the 6 microseconds. So those cancel. And that leaves us with 10 to the 6 times kilonewton, which is 10 to the 3rd. So that gives us 10 to the 9th newtons over second, which is the same thing as a giganewton over seconds. So that's the first one. For part B, we have megagrams over millinewtons. Again, we want to convert that to newtons. So for every newton, there are 10 to the third millinewtons. Those cancel. And that leaves us with a megagram, which is 10 to the six times 10 to the third, which is 10 to the nine grams per newton, which is also the same thing as a gigagram per newton. So that's the second one. Part C. We're given meganewtons over kilograms times millisecond. So we want seconds. For every second, there are 10 to the third milliseconds. So those cancel. That leaves us with a meganewton times 10 to the third, which is 10 to the ninth newtons over kilogram second, which is the same thing as a giganewton over kilogram second. And that's the last one.